To most people, Farnborough is the home of the biannual air show, but there's much more to this airfield than meets the eye. After Cody's first flight on the site in 1908, it was decided that Farnborough was to be the centre of Britain's experiments with aviation. The Royal Aircraft Establishment was created and became one of the most successful aeronautical research organisations in the world. Indeed, some of the greatest advances in aviation technology emanated from its laboratories and workshops. An organisation like the Royal Aircraft Establishment must have the tools for turning ideas into actualities, and pretty elaborate tools they have to be to tackle some of the intricate things we have to make. Our technical college, which carries out instruction over a wide range of subjects, makes an important contribution to this field. Its work includes courses for all types of apprentice, leading to engineering degree, national certificate, and city and guilds qualifications, together with courses for many other specialist requirements. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Alex, I'm a third year aircraft engineering student um, here doing an apprenticeship with 2XL Engineering in Lasham. So I've always had a passion for aviation, since a young age I've always been fascinated with aircraft, basically anything you know that sort of flies um, and then sort of over those kind of years I get you know, enjoy the more engineering side of it so I put the two together and applied for an apprenticeship. What kind of learning facilities do you have access to at this apprenticeship? So here at Farnborough we've obviously got that big Cessna which is, is fantastic because um, you know, we can really do a lot on it. So as I said, we can do like little skin patch repairs. You know, Scott's really good with you know, anything we want to do, he can, he can sort of get us to do it. And we've got the um, gas turbine engine as well. What would you say the importance of doing it in Farnborough would be? Well, it's right by the airport. So you sort of Farnborough is you know, aviation the thoroughbred, isn't it? So you know, it's, it's got that sort of track record. Um, and Scott gets us integrated with everything he can sort of going on, going on in Farnborough. So it, it kind of, it just looks good as well. And, you know, because you're right by the airport, you can go off and do little bits in the airfield if you need to. And After the Wright brothers succeeded in getting a heavier than air machine off the ground, many others took up the challenge of flying. Samuel Franklin Cody, an American, came to Britain and in 1908 at Farnborough, he built this biplane and flew it successfully, making him one of the first true aviators in this country. What would the positives of doing an apprenticeship instead of going straight into work be? So in my industry, it's all about how how you know how many years you've got on the tools so hand skills are very important that you know that, that is the main positive is that you can develop all your hand skills you get the qualifications as well and by the end of your three four years you know you are you're at a level where you know you're you're going to be a good mechanic and then from there you can you can just keep going as well yeah so it's things like doing sheet metal work so if an aircraft's got a hole in the fuselage you know from a, a tail strike or, or whatever you know it's, it's learning how to repair that and there's certain like rear riveting, it's quite a, quite a specific skill in the industry, so you've got to make sure you get it right first time. There's things just like normal things, just doing like, like landing gear changes or wheel changes or like, you know, removing the propeller like we've done today. Hello, uh, yeah, my name's uh, Scott Hutton. I'm currently the assistant principal for engine and uh, motor vehicle, and I've been in further education since 2015. I've been currently here since 2019, so a few years. My previous career was uh, I was in the uh, the Navy, the, the Fleet Air Arm, for 22 years on a mix of uh, fixed wing, stroke rotary wing aircraft, and uh, I was on the uh, land based uh, in various areas back in Iraq, Afghanistan war, Bosnia. I've also worked on aircraft carriers, worked on the Sea Harrier, and uh, I was last on the aircraft carrier Hitchbus Illustrious which got decommissioned in 2015. And what would you say drives your passion for aircraft? I see aircraft engineering to be the pinnacle of engineering. As you probably appreciate, there's all different aspects of engineering. You've got structural engineering, you've got manufacturing engineering, you've got composites. I would say the main pinnacle of uh, engineering is aero engineering, probably coupled with Formula One as well. And specifically with aero engineering because it's a, such a responsible job being an aircraft uh, maintainer because you've got the responsibility of maintaining that aircraft and once it goes flying, obviously the lives of the people on that plane are down to yourself. So that's a high responsible position to have. Uh, what would you say the positives of teaching an apprenticeship opposed to a normal course would be? 
My personal opinion, I would always champion apprenticeships because I'm an ex-apprentice myself. And the way I see it with regards to apprenticeships is um, obviously you get your apprenticeship, you start your training from day one being with that company, you're getting trained, you're getting qualifications and you're getting paid at the same time. As opposed to the other route, going to university for a number of years and hopefully getting a position at the end of it.